everybody. This one's called the right to keep and bear arms number two. Since all of this stuff is coming out now with the uh, these NSA pigs and the CIA pigs uh, uh, trying to uh, uh, steal the guns. So uh, we need to know about this for sure. I study trigonometry. <laughs> if you're afraid to speak out against tyranny, you are already a slave. Enjoy your slavery. Matter of fact, what Samuel Adams said, if ye love wealth better than liberty, the tranquility of servitude better than the animating contest of freedom, go home from us in peace. We ask not your counsel or arms. Crouch down and lick the hands which feed you. May your chains set lightly upon you, and may posterity forget that ye were our countrymen. Experts agree. Gun control works. And I would agree with all of those, except I'm not sure about Gaddafi. It turned out that he wasn't that bad a guy after all, after he's dead. Uh, he had uh, his monetary system wasn't using the banksters. So, I mean, he couldn't have been that bad. He didn't He didn't have a, uh, a uh, Rothschild bank. That's why they killed him. Beware violent street gangs. Typical gang members see they have guns. Um, Well-organized, gang identifier, gang colors, heavily armed, do not approach. Gang members are aggressive and notoriously violent, okay? And they're actually, if you think about it, they're cowards, okay? Because they operate in packs. And the first thing they want to do is make sure you don't have guns. So they want to make sure that you can't defend yourself against them and their attacks, okay? So they're pigs, they're cowards, okay? That's exactly what they are. Any society that would give up a little liberty to gain a little security will deserve neither, will deserve neither, and lose both. Sacrificing freedoms for promises of safety and security is central to the worship of all false gods, and like all false gods, the sacrifices will never be enough. Armed citizens, the original homeland security. Woohoo! Those guys are great. That's what we all need to be, folks. Second Amendment, defending my right not to be a victim since 1791. Since the outbreak of the conflict in Syria, Israel has awarded drilling rights for oil and gas in Israeli-occupied Syria to a company called Genie Injury. Guess who's on the board? We'll get a load of this, eh? Dick Cheney, Jacob Rothschilds, Rupert Murdoch, James Woolsey, ex-CIA, Bill Richardson, ex-U.S. Energy Secretary, and also he used to be governor of New Mexico, Larry Summers. Boy, what a talk about a gang of criminals. And uh, that's why the Syrian war is so good for business, at least as far as these characters are concerned. Copies of these documents can be found in my private group at Yahoo called Administrating Your Public Servants. I have YouTube videos that are videos of private information shares that show these and other court citations that are available for donation. Donations to support this work are appreciated. I prefer gold or silver coin, but as an extremely less desirable alternative, I can accept the military script, the IOUs, the Federal Reserve notes, the PayPal gifts, the checks, the money orders. Send me an email for particulars. New Hampshire eliminates concealed carry license requirement. This is February 23rd, 2017. And the state, if you look at the underlying part there, it says the state at least is at least the 11th to enact such a policy, according to a spokesman from the NRA. And so that's where it needs to go, okay? There's no reason for anybody to be uh, have to have permission. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of the people to keep and bear, uh, the right to keep and bear arms, uh, the right of the people, let's start that over again. <laughs> mm-hmm. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's Article 2 in Amendment. Now, it's got some important stuff here, Okay. A well-regulated militia, militia being necessary to the security of a free state. So if you want a free state, then you have to have the right to keep and bear arms. And if they're taking your right to keep and bear arms, then the question becomes is, is it a free state? Okay. Again, what happens is it's owned and operated by the Roman cult. And so they're trying to enslave everybody and they just want everybody to get used to it. And, and they want to kill off a bunch of people too and get away with it. This is Article 9 in Amendment. The enumeration on the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. 
And Article 10, the power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution or prohibited by it to the states or reserved to the states respectively or to the people. History is clear that the first ten amendments to the Constitution were adopted to secure certain common law rights of the people against invasion by the federal government. Okay, a common law, your rights are unlimited. So it's only a few of them. The right of trial by jury in civil cases, guaranteed by the Seventh Amendment, and the right to bear arms, guaranteed by the Second Amendment, have been distinctly held not to be privileges and immunities of citizens of the United States, guaranteed by the Fourteenth Amendment against abridgment by the states. And in effect, the same decision was made in respect to the guarantee against prosecution, except by indictment of a grand jury contained in the Fifth Amendment, and in respect of the right to be confronted with witnesses contained in the Sixth Amendment. And that's West versus Louisiana, U.S. Supreme Court. A U.S. citizen is a U.S. subject is a slave. Okay, so if you're a U.S. citizen, then get used to your slavery. Okay, I'm not. Not one of the scumbag U.S. citizen slaves. U.S. citizen is a U.S. subject is a slave. The only absolute and unqualified right of a United States citizen is to residence within the territory boundaries of the United States. If a law is unjust, a man is not only a right to disobey it, he is obligated to do so. Gun control. Restricted to use in movie theater, shopping mall, high school, universities. Gun-free zone. Attention, criminals. This is a personal defense-free area. All law-abiding citizens of this establishment have been disarmed for your convenience. Fact. You don't see mass shootings at Bass Pro Cabela stores. You don't see mass shootings at NRA meetings. You don't see mass shootings at gun ranges. You don't see mass shootings at Army Navy stores. You don't see mass shootings at gun shows and stores. You don't see mass shootings at police stations. You do see mass shootings at gun-free schools. You do see mass shootings at gun-free colleges. You do see mass shootings at gun-free theaters. And you do see mass shootings at states with strict gun laws like New York. You do see mass shootings at countries with strict gun laws like Communist Canada. Is it making sense yet? And this one is a nice little cartoon uh, where they're walking into this gun-free zone. And the guy, the dad, is telling his son, it means this building is a soft target where law-abiding people can't protect themselves from violent intentions of others. Yep, that's right. Did I catch you in a gun-free zone? Hold on, guys. Let me check the gun laws first. Mass shootings in America, and who's to blame? Yeah, that's what the communists would like you to think. That's what the communists, these people are all communists. The terrorists are coming. Turn in your AR-15s and hide in gun-free zones. Kids are crying on TV. Give us your guns for the children. Screw you. Any society that would give up a little liberty to gain a little security will deserve neither and lose both. Sacrificing freedoms for promises of safety and security is central to the worship of all false gods, and like all false gods, the sacrifices will never be enough. Armed citizens, the original homeland security. Woohoo! Those guys know what to do. Second Amendment. Defending my right not to be a victim since 1791. U.S. citizens have privilege, but the people have unalienable rights, including the right to keep and bear arms. Boy, that's my kind of girl there. What a babe. The privileges and immunities of citizens of the United States do not necessarily include all the rights protected by the first eight amendments of the federal constitution against the powers of the federal government. The only absolute and unqualified right of a United States citizen is to residence within the territory boundaries of the United States. International law rule adopted for areas under federal legislative jurisdiction, federalized the state civil law, including common law. The rule serves to federalize not only statutory, but the common law of a state. 
state and federal venue discussed, the civil laws effective in an area of exclusive federal jurisdiction or federal law, notwithstanding their derivation from state laws, and a cause arising under such laws may be brought in or removed to a federal district court under sections 24 or 28 of the former judicial code, um, giving jurisdiction, now sections 1331 and 1441 of Title 28, giving jurisdiction to such courts of civil actions arising under the laws of the United States where the matter in controversy exceeds the summer value of $3,000 at the time. And this is taken from jurisdictional or federal areas within the states. The report of the Interdepartmental Committee for the Study of Jurisdiction over Federal Areas Within the States, Part 2, a text of the Law of Legislative Jurisdiction submitted to the Attorney General and transmitted to the President June 1957, pages 158 through 165. And what they're essentially saying is that all state laws are actually federal. We therefore decline to overrule the opinion of Chief Justice Marshall. We hold the District of Columbia is not a state within Article 3 of the Constitution. In other words, cases between citizens of the district and those of the states were not included in the catalog of controversies over which the Congress could give jurisdiction to the federal courts by virtue of Article 3. In other words, Congress has exclusive legislative jurisdiction over citizens of Washington District of Columbia and through their plenary power nationally covers those citizens, even though in one of the several states, as though the district expands for the purpose of regulating its citizens wherever they go throughout the states of the Union. And that's National Mutual Insurance Company of the District of Columbia versus Tidewater Transfer Company, 1948. U.S. Supreme Court. U.S. citizen equals Roman cult equals slave. The technical niceties of the common law are not regarded. The jury does not ordinarily figure ordinarily in the trial of an admiralty suit. The verdict of the jury merely advisory and may be disregarded by the court. The rules of practice may be altered whenever found to be inconvenient or likely to embarrass the business of the court. Yeah, let's railroad this guy, so we'll just throw the rules out. A court of admiralty acts upon equitable principles. A libel of information does not require all the technical precision of an indictment of common law. If the allegations describe the offense, it is all that is necessary. And if it is founded upon a statute, it is sufficient if it pursues the words of the law. This is the Emily versus the Caroline. Every citizen and freeman is endowed with certain rights and privileges which no written law or statute is required. These are fundamental or natural rights recognized among all free people. The people are sovereign and not bound by general words and statutes restrict a prerogative right, title, or interest unless expressly named. Acts of limitation do not bind the king or the people. The people have been ceded all the rights of the king, the former sovereign. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Steemit at Sovereignty International. Don't forget to like this video on YouTube. Don't forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when there's a new upload on Steemit. Don't forget to vote and make your comments. And there's my BitChute channel. This is the front page of my channel, um, although I'm looking for other alternatives besides these Google pigs. Um, anyways, the arrow is pointing at the bell. The subscribe button's already clicked. Otherwise, it'll be red. Uh, and it's checked. The uh, uh, the bell has not been clicked because it doesn't look like it's vibrating. You uh, click on the bell, a pop-up will come up, and there's a window where you had to check a box and click OK to be notified of uh, uploads. This is Steam It. The left arrow is pointing at where you do the upvotes. The middle arrow is how many upvotes it got. And the right arrow is where you can make comments, and all of that is good on Steam It. Uh, crypto wallet, this is uh, where the hand is uh, touching the clip crypto wallet, it's clicked, the pop-up window comes down where you can follow or unfollow somebody. This is exercising the First Amendment without the Second Amendment on the left, and on the right is exercising the First Amendment with the Second Amendment. There you go. Okay, so again, we have a pig on the left. Uh, spraying the, you know, and that's that's what it's all about. Okay, so uh, we the people need to stand up for ourselves, and uh, and and uh, everything falls away. Okay, we need that Second Amendment for sure. If we pass more gun laws, crime will go away. If stupid could fly, you'd be a jet. So making guns illegal will take them off the street. We should take meth and heroin illegal too. <laughs> <laughs> Silencers. Even if you're facing a 2, ho 2 a.m. In home invasion, there's no reason to wake the neighbors. 
A free people ought not only, not only to be armed and disciplined, but they should have sufficient arms and ammunition to maintain a status of independence from any who might attempt to abuse them, which would include their own government. Did you give up your God-given rights in exchange for some satanic privileges? Every taxpayer is a Sestake trust, having sufficient interest in preventing the abuse of the trust to be recognized in the field of this court's prerogative jurisdiction. And that's a summary of Henry Boland's 1912. As citizen of the United States is a civilly dead entity operating as co-trustee and co-beneficiary of the Public Charitable Trust, the constructive Sestake Trust of U.S. Inc. under the 14th Amendment, which upholds the debt of the USA and U.S. Inc. And that's a summary of five pages of the Congressional Record dated June 13, 1967. Yet still it was found difficult to set bounds to ecclesiastical ingenuity. <clears throat> that's the Roman cult, folks. For when they were driven from all their former holes, they devised a new method of conveyance by which the lands were granted not to themselves directly, but to nominal fiafis, to the use of the religious houses, thus distinguishing between the possession and the use and receiving the actual profits while a season of the land remained in the nominal fiafi, who was held by the courts of equity then under the direction of the clergy. That's the Roman cult, folks. That's quite a scam, isn't it? Where they, got to, they get to decide whether somebody's in a contract or not. Yeah, that's quite a scam. To be bound in conscience to account to a sestike use for the rents and emoluments of the estate. That's taxes, folks. And it is to these inventions that our practitioners are indebted for the introduction of uses and trusts, the foundation of modern conveyancing. And it was the foundation of modern conveyancing in 1835 under this Tomlin's Law Dictionary under the definition of Mort Main. It's still the foundation of modern conveyancing. Pope claims you're not Christian if you own a gun. There's a Satanist. Matter of fact, he's he is a child molester. He is, oh, don't get me going, a Satanist. Oh, and look at that smirk that pig has on his face. Um, United Nations agencies, Child Protective Services, Family Courts, all bar members or United Agent, Nations agencies, all law enforcement officers, anyone with a military uniform under Article 10 of the Concordat of 1933, the wearing a clerical dress or religious habit on the part of lay folk is liable to the same penalty on the part of the state as the misuse of a military uniform. Civil rights under the 14th Amendment are for federal citizens and not state citizens. Federal citizens as parents have no right to the custody of their infant children except uh, subject to the paramount right of the state. And uh, did you give up your God-given rights in exchange for some satanic privileges? It is evident that they, U.S. citizens, have not the political rights which are vested in citizens of the states. They are not constituents of any community which is vested with any sovereign power of government. Their position partakes more of the character of subjects than of citizens. They are subject to the laws of the United States but have no voice in its management. If they are allowed to make laws, the validity of these laws is derived from the sanction of a government in which they are not represented. Mere citizenship they may have, but the political rights of citizens they cannot enjoy. And that's People versus De La Guerra in uh, 1870. Did you give up your God-given rights in exchange for some satanic privileges? <clears throat> The term citizen in the United States is analogous to the term subject in the common law. Did you give up your God-given rights in exchange for some satanic privileges? U.S. citizens can murder their unborn children. The unborn are not included in the definition of person as used by the 14th Amendment. And that's the celebrated Roe v. Wade decision. U.S. Supreme Court. Did you give up your God-given rights in exchange for some satanic privileges? There's only one kind of freedom, and that's individual liberty. Our lives come from our Creator, and our liberty comes from our Creator. It has nothing to do with government granting it. Well said, Ron Paul. Any society that would give up a little liberty to gain a little security will desire neither and lose both. Sacrificing freedoms for promises of safety and security is central to the worship of all false gods, and like all false gods, the sacrifices will never be enough. Armed citizens, the original homeland security. Those guys know what they have to do. Second Amendment, defending my right not to be a victim since 1791. 
And while the 14th Amendment does not create a national citizenship, it has the effect of making that citizenship paramount and dominant instead of derivative and dependent upon state citizenship. U.S. Supreme Court, Colgate versus Harvey. The Amendment 14th reversed and annulled the original policy of the Constitution, so they criminally converted citizenship into the opposite of what the Founding Fathers intended. See the 14th Amendment is unconstitutional video. See the judicial horse video. Citizenship is a political status and may be defined in privilege limited by Congress. The term resident and citizen of the United States is distinguished from a citizen of one of the several states in that the former is a special class of citizen created by Congress. Therefore, the U.S. citizens residing in one of the states of the Union are classified as property and franchises of the federal government as an individual entity. And that's a summary from uh, Wheeling uh, Steel Corporation versus Fox. And a U.S. citizen, upon leaving the District of Columbia, becomes involved in interstate commerce as a resident, does not have the common law right to travel of a citizen of one of the several states. Democracy is two wolves and a lamb voting on what? to have for lunch. Liberty is a well-armed lamb contesting the vote. State citizens are the only ones living under free government whose rights are incapable of impairment by legislation or judicial decision. State citizenship is a vested substantial property right and the state has no power to divest or impair these rights. The state cannot diminish the rights of the people. Did you give up your God-given rights from some sat satanic privileges? The state citizen is immune from any and all government attacks and procedure absent contract. Every man is independent of all laws except those prescribed by nature. He is not bound by any institutions formed by his fellow men without his consent. Did you give up your God-given rights for some satanic privileges? The rights of the individuals are restricted only to the extent that they've been voluntarily surrendered by citizenship to the agencies of government. The claim and exercise of a constitutional guaranteed right cannot be converted into a crime. This is about the concealed carry permit again. No state shall convert a liberty into a privilege, license it, and charge a fee. Therefore, there can be no sanction or penalty imposed upon one because of his exercise of constitutional rights. If a state converts a right or a liberty into privilege, the citizen can ignore the license and fee and engage in the right and liberty with impunity. My vidme, uh, vid.me shut down on the 15th of December, and the YouTube channel called Sovereignty International is terminated. I made the exclusive content available on my website, but you'll need a Google account to set up your access. There are actually uh, YouTube videos on my uh, uh, Sovereign Living channel, but uh, they're private, and so I need to uh, have a Google account to grant you access. I have two subscription levels, and I accept cryptocurrencies. My uh, basic subscription level is $2.99 a month or $19.99 a year for the videos only. My uh, platinum subscription level is $4.99 a month or $39.99 a year for videos plus unlimited consultations. Now, there is a limit as to what I can do as far as consultations are concerned because I am not a liar. Well, I'm an attorney. No, actually, I'm in a liar. But I can tell you what I would do under a certain circumstance and where to find the forms. The only power that the New World Order Satanists have over us is through fraud and deception, and my agenda is to expose it for all our benefit. I cannot fight all the battles. I need people bringing up the right issues, being on point, and, uh, and, and uh, I cannot fight all the battles. There's way too many battles. So that's why I make this stuff available. And uh, if you want to make a donation, uh, you know, if you want to subscribe as a donation, then, I mean, it's certainly appreciated. You know, it's a modest donation. There's no doubt about it. But uh, a whole bunch of people chipping in a modest amount, and it adds up pretty fast. I'm currently publishing one video a week. Actually, in the next, in the near term, I'm going to publish more, but but it's generally it's going to be one video a week because I've got some ideas on videos that I'm going to be publishing. Anyways, some of my exclusive content is an Arlington private information share that has nine videos. I have uh, land deed training, estoppel certificates training, foreclosure estoppel certificates training, corporate denial training, 
Toll roads notice and demand training, invoice training, notice avoid judgment training, revocation of signature training, third party witness training, uh, federal habeas corpus training, revocation of voter registration training. Um, and I've got some criminal complaint training. I've actually got two videos about it, uh, and but there's probably going to be more because as I come up with new things, because uh, criminal complaints are quite um, can be quite complicated. I also plan on doing some lawsuit training, but that's not up yet. And any other training that people might have uh, requests for. Um, all forms and files and other instructions are available for free on my two private groups at Yahoo Groups and Google Groups. Um, and so, uh, again, uh, the training is above and beyond. And uh, so that's why it requires a subscription. All exclusive content will be on my website, and you can buy a subscription there. When blacks wanted to carry guns in the 60s to protect themselves from the pigs, the NRA supported Ronald Reagan signing the 1967 Mulford Act that restricted people carrying guns. Okay, obviously that must have been in California. California seems to be the one in the lead, doesn't it? A well-regulated population being necessary to the security of a police state, the right of the government to register and ban arms shall not be infringed. That's the communist uh, Second Amendment. Turn in your weapons. The government will take care of you. Yeah, I believe that. Oh, look at that. The government took care of them, didn't they? Sure did. Did a really good job. They'll never be need to be taken care of again. Wounded knee is proof gun control works. It works so well, these 297 unarmed Sioux Indians never spoke about it again. The U.S. government sent to confiscate any remaining guns under the false pretenses for their own safety and protection. 200 to, of the 300 victims were children. Defenseless. 20 members of the killing squad were awarded the Medal of Honor. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! That's, that's the Congress Satanists doing their job. By unequal power in the hands of government leads to uh, eventually to inequality, slavery, or annihilation. Remember, reasonable gun control is ultimately all about control and nothing else. Just ask the Native Americans or the Native Hawaiians or any other minority why you should trust government. Japanese American internment, 8,000 forced sterilizations courtesy of Oliver Holmes' Supreme Court decision. Guantanamo torture, the Trail of Tears, smallpox, Native American weapons of mass destruction, sovereign nation invasions, Kent State, the murder of World War I war hero protesters in Washington, D.C., laws that enslaved the black man and later Jim Crow laws and more laws than any other nation in history. Oh, go ahead, turn in your guns. Murdered by police. Murdered by pigs. In the last century, government murdered over 260 million of their own citizens. But first, they had to take the guns. When your government has all the guns, this is what it's going to look like, folks. There you are. That's you up there. And, that, and behind them is a hole where there's probably more bodies back there. Just following orders. I was just following orders is never a valid excuse or justification for immoral criminal behavior and this lame attempt to abdicate personal responsibility should never be accepted as a valid excuse for such behavior. There's a bunch of good citizens right there, folks. These people were good citizens. They didn't have guns. They did what they were told. And look where they ended up, folks. Just following orders. That's what these Satanist pigs like to use. Starving Indian family, British Raj, 1877. A photograph of famine victims in 1877. Their bodies were skeletonized and, and very near to death. From 1760 uh, till 1943, India was hit by terrible famines on a regular basis. More than 85 million Indians died in these famines, which were in reality genocides done by the British Raj. Contrast this to the fact that there have been no famine-related deaths since independence. Okay, well... Well, think about it. They were those are good citizens. They're just following orders. They're doing what they're told. Law-abiding citizens. There's more law-abiding citizens here, folks. 
You want to give up your guns? This is where it's going to go. Government is the undisputed heavyweight champion of them, of mass shootings. Oh, and there's there's an order follower right there looking on the left, looking at. He's, he's just following orders. U.S. police kill more unarmed citizens in average month than ISIS has killed in America ever. Which one are you endlessly told to fear? There's some more pigs. With all this gun control talk, I haven't heard one politician say how they plan to take guns from criminals, just law-abiding citizens. There's some more law-abiding citizen folks. Brave soldiers doing their job. Yeah, order followers. And the brave soldiers doing their jobs, probably stealing their property, that what's left, you know, all their money or whatever they can from the dead bodies. These Satanist pigs. Turn in your weapons. The government will take care of you. Yeah, there's some more uh, good citizens there, folks. That's what happens. More good citizens and some order followers. Add them to the pile of the good citizens. More good citizens there, folks. China established gun control in 1935. From 1948 to 1952, 20 million political dissidents, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. Yep, there we go, folks. That's gun control for you, folks. Nobody blames the gun when the pig, when the shooter is a pig. We are the CIA criminals. We created every single act of terrorism, whether it be foreign or domestic, including 911. We will never be convicted as the corrupt media protects us. We own the media. There's some pigs right there, folks. Every government needs useful idiots who will just do their job and never question following orders. There's a bunch of pigs, folks. What people think a cult looks like and what a cult actually looks like. Order followers. And they're cowards. Okay, they're cowards because they operate in packs and the first thing they want to do is make sure you don't have the means to defend yourself. They kill over a thousand people a year, creates the largest prison population on the planet in the in the history of mankind, and think there's a war against them. They're pigs. They're cowards. Look at they got all this armor and stuff like that because they're cowards. They don't want to face you one on one. They will never do that. They'll come in packs. And they'll sneak around behind your back and collect surveillance. We talked it over, and after investigating it ourselves, we decided we're not guilty. Yeah, some more pigs. And there's a pig, and with some people that uh, are force, uh, uh, exercising the First Amendment without the Second Amendment. I don't make laws, I just enforce them. So you're saying you willingly violate your moral code and do things you personally do not agree with to collect a paycheck? Sounds to me like you're just a tyrant. Actually, he's a pig. All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. But who's really to blame? After all, there are over 7 billion of you and just a handful of us. Ask yourself, who pulls the triggers? Who drops the bombs? Who pays the taxes? Who borrows the loans? Who buys the miss? Who writes his own? Who shuns his neighbor? Who looks the other way? And who sits around waiting for someone else to fix it all? Take a look at the mirror. You might not like what you see. Second Amendment, defending my right not to be a victim since 1791. The Second Amendment is my gun permit. A well-regulated militia, and that's civilians who band together in times of emergency to form an army of irregulars, being necessary to the security of a free state, not as in the 50 states, but as in a state of being free. The right of the people, law-abiding citizens, 
to keep and bear arms, arguably any unclassified weapon which can be wielded by an individual soldier, shall not be infringed, shall suffer no dilution upon which civilian capability to thwart tyranny may hinge. A nice little explanation. Ever notice ISIS doesn't attack gun shows? Seriously, conservatives own 200 plus million guns, 12 trillion rounds of ammu, ammunition. If we were violent, you'd know it. It's time we started waking up, folks. Remember when the colonists stood in line to turn in their guns? Neither do I. Register nothing. It's absolutely none of their business what you own. Rebellion to tyrants is obedience to God. The Second Amendment. Washington didn't use his right to free speech to dis defeat the Rothschild British system. He shot them. When the people fear their government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. Political language is designed to make lies sound truthful and murder respectable. History repeats. The best way to take control over a people and control them utterly is to t take a little of their freedom at a time to erode rights by a thousand tiny and almost imperceptible reductions. In this way, the people will not see those rights and freedoms being removed until past the point at which these changes cannot be reversed. The greatest danger to American freedom is a government that ignores the Constitution. Well, we have that, folks. Government is not the solution Our problem to our problem. Government is the problem. Many people, especially ignorant people, want to punish you for speaking the truth, for being correct, for being you. Never apologize for being correct or for being years ahead of your time. If you're, if you're right and you know it, speak your mind. Speak your mind even if you're a minority of one. The truth is still the truth. Get rid of the UN. Nothing is more surprising than the easiness by which the many are governed by the few. History is a lie. Religion is a control system. Money is a hoax. Death is a fiction, or debt is a fiction. Media is manipulation. Government is a corporation. The system is a lie. Wake up, folks. All that is necessary for the, uh, the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. Those who are skilled in combat do not become angered. Those who are skilled at winning do not become afraid. Thus the wise win before the fight, while the ignorant fight to win. I prefer dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. Men occasionally stumble over the truth, but most of them pick themselves up and hurry off as if nothing had happened. <laughs> The duty of a true patriot is to protect his country from its government. The limits of tyrants are prescribed by the endurance of those who they oppress. Society in every state is a blessing, but government in its even in its best state is but a necessary evil. The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Nothing is more despicable than respect based on fear. And there's a bunch of pigs. Notice they're cowards. They got all these, this uh, armament. Okay, they're cowards. They got all this protection. They're in a gang. They have, uh, they, they, they're sneaking around behind your back. They're doing all this. They're cowards. What the pigs do? Use violence and intimidation to coerce people to comply with the laws made by politicians. Definition of terrorism, the use of violence and intimidation in the pursuit of political aims. Just say no to gangs. What country can preserve its liberties if its rulers are not warned from time to time that their people preserve the spirit of resistance? Any society that would give up a little liberty to gain a little security will deserve neither and lose both. And that's happening right now, folks. Sacrificing freedoms for promises of safety and security is central to the worship of all false gods, and like all false gods, the sacrifices will never be enough. 
Armed Citizens, the original Homeland Security. Woo! -hoo. Second Amendment, defending my right not to be a victim since 1791. My contact information is Sovereignty International. Uh, my blog is sovereigntyinternational.wordpress.com. My website is sovereigntyinternational.fyi. My email address is engineerwin at yahoo.com. My YouTube profile is Sovereign Living. Sovereignty International has been deleted. I need to change that. My Facebook community page is deleted uh, due to censorship by the Facebook pigs. And my private group on Facebook called Sovereignty International is being deleted. I'm not going to let Facebook profit from all my hard work. And uh, and plus they're collecting information about all the people on that group that's for the, C for the NSA and the CIA. My Yahoo private group is called Administering Your Public Servants. My Google private group is called Administering Your Public Servants. Follow me on Twitter at Engineer Wynn. Follow me on Steemit at Sovereignty International. And I've got a BitChute profile too, but I don't have all my videos up there. The two enemies of the people are criminals and government. So let us tie the second down with the chains of the Constitution so the second will not become the legalized version of the first. Well, hello, folks. That's exactly what's happened. He said he would stand with the Muslims against us. That's the only promise he ever kept. How could you tell when he's lying? His lips were moving. We must ban all assault weapons because federal background checks simply don't work. Don't worry about 100,000 Muslim refugees. They're all getting federal background checks. <laughs> Small town Americans are bitter, so they cling to guns and religion. I noticed your Muslim buddies cling to guns and religion, too. <laughs> Check out my other videos, Bankster Thieves Playlist, Roman Cult Playlist, Bankrupt Corporate So-Called Governments, Bar Members 1 through 3, Do It Yourself, How Not to Volunteer for the Selective Service in the Draft, Martial Laws Here. Do It Yourself, No Income Tax, Do It Yourself, Free Mail, Do It Yourself, Kangaroo Courts 1 through 15, uh, Canada Border Pigs playlist, bar members and their satanic connections playlist. When the gunman realizes that nobody else is armed, he will lay his weapons uh, down his weapons and turn himself in. That's just human nature. This isn't your everyday stupid. This is advanced stupid. I can't pe believe people still elect that. Yeah, I'm not going to say. People who think you should own guns is and that's Washington and Lincoln and uh, Gandhi and Jefferson. People who think you shouldn't own guns are all tyrants. And, uh, and, uh, and any questions? Peace through superior firepower. What are you going to do about it? The average response time of a 911 call is 23 minutes. The response time of a 357 is 1,400 feet per second. Unfiltered wisdom. The gun control debate in a nutshell. I have a gun. You don't want me to have it. I won't let you take it. Your move. <laughs> gun control is like trying to reduce drunk driving by making it tougher for sober people to own cars. Yep. I came into this world kicking and screaming while covered in someone else's blood. I have no problem going out the same way. Two idiots offended by the First Amendment were quickly introduced to the second. Welcome to Texas. Gun nuts protecting your liberties since 1775. Why do I need a gun like an AR-15? It's not about need. It's my, it's my Second Amendment right to own such a rifle. But assault weapons aren't necessary for hunting. First of all, it's not an assault weapon. And secondly, the Second Amendment isn't about hunting. It's about defending liberty from tyranny. So you're worried about a tyrant is going to take away your guns and your liberty? No, actually I'm not, because we have the Second Amendment. Come and take them. Home protected by a high-speed wireless device. I have an army of over a dozen U.S. in over a dozen U.S. states. We have millions of rednecks who'd love to meet them. Connecticut governor warns one last chance to register your guns will go from house to house and take them by force. Like and share if you pledge your unwavering and physical support to gun owners in Connecticut uh, if and when the time comes. Actually, ought to string him up.
stretch his neck. I proudly stand with Connecticut gun owners that are defying unconstitutional laws demanding they register or turn in their weapons. Victims who shoot back live longer. The Second Amendment. The Second Amendment was written to protect the right of individuals to keep and bear modern firearms. When Constitution was ratified, these firearms were muskets. Today, they are modern rifles like the AR-15. 50 caliber handgun for when there's a burglar behind the refrigerator at your neighbor's house. <laughs> Finally, like and share a well-dressed Walmart shopper. <laughs> there you go. Properly dressed teacher. Yeah, yeah. Good looking lady. If trouble kicks down the door, light it up like a Christmas tree. Teach your daughters to shoot because the restraining order is just a piece of paper. In the state of Virginia, firearm sales went up 73% and violent crimes went down 24%. Imagine that. Why does anyone need an AR-15 with 30 rounds of ammunition? Why does anyone need more than one square of toilet paper? <laughs> it happens. Wow, there's my kind of girl. Give me liberty or, or get up and get it my or I'll get up and get it myself. Do you know why the DHS lists return veterans as domestic terror threat? Because many of them have figured out who the real enemy is and they have the train to do something about it. Yeah, right on. That's, that's the real homeland security. Just because you do not take an interest in politics doesn't mean politics won't take an interest in you. Notice there's some, some good citizens over there wearing those striped uniforms that wind up, uh, probably wind up in the other videos and the other pictures that I showed. Once a guy tried to rape me, he didn't make it to court. Screw the UN, well, I'll go for that. Three women who won't be getting raped by Syrian refugees. Yeah, my kind of girl. Nice cheeks, another nice cheek, Texas tan line. Protection. A gun in the hand is better than a cop on the phone. You got that right. Will work for ammo. <laughs> Welcome to my home. That door you just kicked in was locked for your protection, not mine. ISIS load. Double O buck with and bacon bits. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but hollow points expand on impact. Mama taught me that a lady never uses her fist to settle an argument, which is why my daddy taught me how to fire a gun. The Second Amendment is my gun permit. Freedom has a nice ring to it and a bit of recoil. Don't like guns? That's fine. You can be the drummer. I would much rather explain to police why an intruder in my home has a hole in his chest than to have them explain to my loved ones why I was raped and murdered. My kind of girl. When there's a bombing, we blame the bomber. When there's a drunk driving accident, we blame the driver. Why, when there's a shooting, do we blame the gun? Because they want to take it away. Epiphany. That realization that you broke into the wrong house. <laughs> A true story, Houston Herald, Houston, Texas. Last Thursday night around midnight, a woman from Houston, Texas was arrested, jailed, and charged with manslaughter for shooting a man six times in the back as he was running away with her purse. Following Monday morning, the woman was called in front of a arraignment judge, sworn in and asked to explain her actions. The, the woman explained, I was standing at the corner bus stop for about 15 minutes, <clears throat> waiting for the, the bus to take me home after work. I'm a waitress at a local cafe. I was there alone, so I had my right hand on my pistol, in my purse, hanging on my left shoulder. All of a sudden, I was spun around hard to my left, and, I, and, and as I caught my balance, I saw a man running away with my purse. I looked down the right hand and saw my fingers were wrapped tightly around my pistol. Next thing I remember is saying out loud, no way, punk, you're not stealing my paycheck and tips. I raised my right hand, 
pointed my pistol at the man running away from me with my purse and started squeezing the trigger. When asked by the arraignment judge, why did you shoot the man six times? The, the woman replied under oath, because when I pulled the trigger the seventh time, it only went click. <laughs> The woman was acquitted of all charges. She's back at work the next day. That's gun control, Texas style. Come and take it. Any society that would give up a little liberty to gain a little security will deserve neither and lose both. Sacrificing freedoms for promises of safety and security is central to the worship of all false gods. And like all false gods, the sacrifices will never be enough. Armed citizens, the original homeland security. Second Amendment, defending my right not to be a victim since 1791. Civil law, Roman law, Roman civil law, convertible phrases being the same system of jurisprudence, that rule of action which every particular nation, commonwealth, or city has established peculiarly for itself, more properly called municipal law, to distinguish it from the law of nature and from international law. It's all civil law equals Roman law equals Roman cult. Classification of persons. The Roman law is distinguished in the three kinds of personal status or degree, legal capacity, classified human beings with respect thereto as follows. And then in section three, loss of freedom, a Roman citizen cannot legally be sold into slavery, but he might become a slave by condemnation for crime by being captured by an enemy. And that's the law of persons, published 1912. Did you give up your God-given rights in exchange for some satanic privileges? All these statutes are a cheap imitation of common law that convert rights into privileges. And this is by this means, citizens' birth rights become of no effect and their rights to re are reduced to the inferior character of statutory civil rights, mere legislative privileges. At common law, there are absolute rights. Statutes can and are changed. Statutes are ignored under certain circumstances. And so, again... Common law rights are unlimited and they're absolute. Irony. Some of the people yelling the loudest for gun control are protected by armed security. War is when your government tells you who the enemy is. Revolution is when you figure it out for yourself. When liberty and freedom are at stake, your silence is go isn't golden, it's yellow. If circumstances should at any time oblige the government to form an army of any magnitude, that army can never be formidable to the liberties of the people, while there is a large body of citizens, little, if at all, inferior to them in discipline and the use of arms, who stand ready to defend their own rights and those of their fellow citizens. This appears to me the only substitute that can be devised for a standing army and the best possible security against it, if it should exist." Alexander Hamilton. Before a standing army can rule, the people must be disarmed, as they are in almost every country in Europe. The supreme power in America cannot enforce unjust laws by the sword because the whole body of the people are armed and constitute a force superior to any band of regular troops. To disarm the people, its most effectual way is the most effectual way to enslave them. That's what's coming, folks. Despotism, that's what the uh, causes and necessities for taking up arms says. Despotism. Dictatorship. I prefer dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. What country can preserve its liberties and their rulers if their rulers are not warned from time to time that their people preserve the spirit of resistance? Let them take arms. The Second Amendment of our Bill of Rights is my concealed weapons permit, period. I have a very strict gun control policy. If there's a gun around, I want to be in control of it. <laughs> but if someone has a gun and is trying to kill you, it would be reasonable to shoot back with your own gun. An armed society is a polite society. There are no dangerous weapons. There are only dangerous men. It's better to have a gun and not need it than to need a gun and not have it. That rifle on the wall of the laborer's cottage or working class flat is the symbol of democracy. It is our job to see that it stays there. A woman or man who defends further control, uh, gun control legislation is like a chicken who roots for Colonel Sanders. 
A man's rights rest in three boxes, the ballot box, the jury box, and the cartridge box. No kingdom can be secured otherwise than by arming the people. No possession of arms is, is the distinction between the, the freeman and the slave. The possession of arms is the distinction between the freeman and the slave. You need to think about that. You have arms, you're free. If you don't, you're a slave. That's all there is to it. A system of licensing and registration is the perfect device to deny gun ownership to the bourgeois. Gun control is like trying to reduce drunk driving by making it tougher for sober people to own cars. There is no question that weapons in the hands of the public can be can have prevented acts of terror or stopped them. The Vatican's Holocaust, a sensational account of the most horrifying religious massacre in the 20th century by Avril Manhattan. Avril Manhattan was the world's foremost authority on Roman Catholicism and politics, a resident of London during World War II. He operated a radio station called Radio Freedom, broadcasting to occupied Europe. He was the author of over 20 books, including the bestseller, The Vatican and World Politics, twice book of the month, going through 57 editions. He was a great Briton who risked his life daily to expose some of the darkest secrets of the papacy. His books were number one on the Forbidden Index for the past 50 years. His And this editor's note issue from 1986. In 2006, the record is now 70 years on the Forbidden Book List. That means it's 80 years now. Um, the Vatican's Holocaust is not a misnomer, an accusation, or even less a speculation. It is an historical fact. Rabid nationalism and religious dogmatism were as two main ingredients during the existence of Croatia as an independent Catholic state. Over 700,000 men, women, and children perished. Many were executed, tortured, starved to death, buried alive, or were burned to death. Hundreds were forced to become Catholic. Catholic padres ran concentration camps. Catholic priests were officers of the military corps, which committed such atrocities. 700,000 and a total population of a few million. Proportionally would be as if one-third of the USA population had been exterminated by a Catholic militia. What has been gathered in this book will vindicate the veracity of these facts, dates, times, places, as well as photos are there to prove them. They should have, they should become known to the American public, not to foster vindictiveness, but to warn them of the danger which racialism and sectarianism, when allied with religious intolerance, can bring to any contemporary nation, whether Europe or the New World. This work should be assessed without prejudice as a lesson or even more as a, a, a more vital as a warning for the future of Americans, beginning with that of the USA, Avril Manhattan, 1986, and armed Serbia could have easily prevented this Holocaust. Thank God for the Second Amendment to the Constitution, which guarantees the right to bear arms. Freedom of religion and armed citizenry go hand in hand as the only guarantee that this won't happen in the U.S., Editors note, it is the Vatican's one world government that doesn't want you to have the right to own arms or use any means to defend yourself. And there's the pig, okay? Pope claims you're not Christian if you own a gun. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, he wants to enslave you, okay? We need to, we need to stretch his neck. The only reason for disarming the people is to make them powerless against tyranny. We will make your guns we will take your guns because we have made an agreement to do so called freedom from war. Yeah, right. There's a pig. Guns. We defend our president with guns. We defend our congressmen with guns. We defend our governors with guns. We defend our celebrities with guns. We defend our sporting events with guns. We defend our jewelry stores with guns. We defend our banks with guns. We defend our office buildings with guns. We defend our factories with guns. We defend our courts with guns. We defend our children with a sign that reads, this is a gun-free zone. Legal U.S. gun owners have 300 million guns and probably a trillion rounds of ammo. Seriously, folks, if we were the problem, you'd know it. America was founded by tough hell raisers, rugged citizens who evaded taxes, spoke strongly against tyranny, grew tobacco, brewed beer and spirits, and smuggled weapons. And it will be saved only by those same types of citizens. Original assault rifle, 1774, banned from import, 1775, British attempt confiscation, 1776, revolution. War is when your government tells you who the enemy is. Revolution is when you figure it out for yourself. 
A free people ought not only to be armed and disciplined, but they should have sufficient arms and ammunition to maintain a status of independence from any who might attempt to abuse them, which would include their own government. Come and take it. Any society that would give up a little liberty to gain a little security will deserve neither and lose both. Sacrificing freedoms for promises of safety and security is central to the worship of all false gods, and like all false gods, the sacrifices will never be enough. Armed citizens, the original homeland security, woohoo, those guys know what they have to do. Second Amendment, defending my right not to be a victim since 1791. And that's the end. The right to keep and bear arms. If you are free, you have arms. If you're a slave, that's the first thing they do is take them away because they don't want you being able to defend yourself. And so they will never take the guns.